Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. Today we're going to be talking about the best way to do better in multiplayer, and I'm going to try and keep it very short and very sweet. So, let's start. First and foremost, do the tutorial mission. It's very simple. It's going to teach you everything you're going to need to know. Pretty much. The second thing you're going to want to do is to choose a main class. And this class is you're going to level up to max level, because the higher your level, the more silver and gold missions you can do. The more of those you do, the more money you have. The more money you have, the more chests you can buy. So you can gear out all your characters as well as that character you're using. Now there is some things to keep in mind, like soldiers and infiltrators uh, are usually very weapon reliant. So maybe you might have, not have RNG and chests and stuff like that. Uh, however, adepts and engineers can be useful with any weapons to the entire team. They're very much so team-focused players. And then Vanguard and Sentinel characters, uh, they get more difficult to use as difficulty increases, but they will always stay relevant no matter what your weapon is as well. Another tip is to not save your money to buy all like the high-end chests right away. A good thing to do is to buy the cheaper chests, such as the 5,000 chests when you're in bronze and you're just starting out, to level up your characters and to get those starting weapons up there. It'll make it easier when you get into silver. And then when you move into silver, you can start buying like the 50,000, the 20,000, a lot more, and start getting those high like N7, gold, and uncommon weapons. Another tip is when you hit level 8, make sure you start to do silver missions by using like boosters and stuff like that, so you have like a fighting chance with your team. Try and get into one with higher levels if you can, but if you can, it's not the end of the world. And the same thing with gold, try and start doing it at level 18. But if you have good weapons, um, or you're like an adept or an engineer or something like that, uh, you can start a bit earlier. Just make sure you're using those boosters if you are under geared. Now this is going to come as no surprise, but as you increase in difficulty, enemies hit harder. You should invest in your shields and your health uh, through whatever tree that is for the class. This will help you survive, and it's basically mandatory in later levels. Another thing to make sure you have is to make sure you have those consumables for in the actual game itself, such as your RPGs, your health, and stuff like that. You want to make sure you have those, uh, so at least save a bit of money so you can put money into the 2000 basic pack, because uh, that's where you'll get a lot of it if you are running out. And my last and most important tip is to work with your team. That means doing objectives, that means reviving them. This will just increase the chance of you surviving surviving and winning the game by a ton. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, leave a comment about it. Even if you didn't like it, leave a comment. Tell me how crap I am or dislike it. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, thanks for watching guys. There'll be a link to a new video up above. That's all. Catch you later guys.